So in today's video, I'll be showing you how you can increase your download speeds inside of the Epic Games Launcher. So if you're getting slow download speeds right now inside of Epic Games Launcher, this video is definitely going to help you out. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is modify a few settings inside of the launcher itself. So open up Epic Games, click on your profile and then click on settings. So once you're inside of here, you need to first check if there's any update available. If there is, then you'll get a pop up on the top. It should look something like this. So if you have an update available, make sure to download and install it. Once you have any pending updates complete, you can scroll down and click on go to download settings. And inside of here, you need to make sure that limit download speeds is disabled. If the setting is enabled, then your download speed will be capped to a specific amount, which is going to stop the launcher from utilizing the maximum possible download speed. So make sure that this setting is disabled. One thing that you can test is just enable the setting and set all of these values to the maximum limit which is 10,000 megabytes. You can experiment with this and see if it increases your download speed inside of the launcher. Another thing that you can try is just close Epic Games Launcher completely and then just launch it as an administrator. Click on yes. And now Epic Games will open up with the administrator privileges, which could result in better download speeds. The next setting is going to be changed outside of the launcher. So we're going to be applying the most optimal DNS to make sure that we're getting the maximum possible connection speed. For that, we need to download an application. To download this, you need to simply head to your browser and then open up this link that I will provide in the description below. Once you're on this website, you need to scroll all the way down till you see the download button. Make sure that you only click on this button and not on any of the ads. So click on this, close the ad and now your download should start. Once the download is complete, you need to simply locate and unzip the file. And once you're done extracting, you'll be left with a folder called DNS Jumper. So double click on this and then open up the dnsjumper.exe application. Click on yes for the user account control. And now inside of here, you need to first click on the fastest DNS button. Click on start DNS test. So once you click on start DNS test, it is simply going to perform a test on a list of a bunch of popular DNS servers. And then it's going to show you the DNS, which is giving you the lowest delay. So for me, it's this one. And once this is complete, you need to click on apply DNS server. You will get a small notification which says DNS successfully changed. And then you can close this window. Now click on flush DNS. And this is going to flush the DNS cache. Once this is done, you can simply close this app. And with that, we have applied the best possible DNS according to our connection. This next optimization is going to be only for Ethernet users. So if you've got an Ethernet connection, you can try changing this setting to see if you get better download speeds. Simply head to control panel, click on network and internet, network and sharing center, and then click on change adapter settings. Inside of here, double click on your Ethernet connection and then click on configure. Inside of this window, click on advanced. And now you'll see a bunch of advanced Ethernet settings that you can modify. Here, all you need to do is make sure to disable any of the energy efficient settings. So advanced triple E, energy efficient Ethernet, gigabit light, green Ethernet, power saving mode and shutdown link speed. Once you disable the power saving settings, you need to click on speed and duplex. And by default, this will be on auto negotiation. Make sure to set this to the maximum value that you have available along with full duplex. But do keep in mind that after changing the speed and duplex settings, the Ethernet may stop working for a few people. In that case, you can simply just lower down the value to the second highest that you have available along with full duplex and see if that brings back your connection. If even that does not work, you can simply go back to auto negotiation. So once you apply the setting, click on OK. And this optimization should also help in improving your download speed. So if you guys have watched my previous video on optimizing the Epic Games launcher, there was an optimization in that video which no longer works and actually lowers your download speed. So I'm quickly going to show you how you can revert that. For that, you need to simply open up Windows and type percentage local app data percentage. 
Click enter and now inside of this folder you need to simply look for the Epic Games Launcher and then inside of the Epic Games Launcher folder you need to click on saved, config, windows and then inside of this folder you need to look for the engine.ini file and if you watched my previous video there was a bunch of text that we copied and pasted inside of this file but this no longer works and this will actually lower your download speed so now all you need to do is select everything that's inside of this file and simply delete the text once that is done you can save so these are going to be all the optimizations for the epic games launcher if this video helped you out make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this one if you'd like me to optimize your internet connection or your laptop or pc for gaming you can check out the link in the description to my service. I've got a bunch of 5 star reviews and I can help you get the maximum performance out of your existing system. Be sure to check it out. If you'd like to support me inside of Epic Games or inside of the Fortnite item shop, you can simply use my creator code 72 Creed. That would really help me out. That is going to be it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.